Hey guys, what's up? It's Adam, also known as Insane Gaming 2010, and today I have another Gemini Jets scale 1 to 400 aircraft for you. This time it is a Delta Airlines Boeing 767 300 with winglets. Uh, this is a uh, 300 ER uh, extra range, and it is a uh, really nice model. So let's get to the box first off. Uh, on the front uh, side, you have Gemini Jets, then you have the 767 300 with winglets. And then you have a cool like Delta, the Delta um, uh, Triangle logo. Uh, and then you have Delta Sky Team. Um, and then 1 to 400 scale die cast model aircraft. Other side, you have uh, Gemini Jets. Uh, as real as it gets. Basically, they're just basic information that they always have. Uh, and then you have a, a pretty cool view of the model like this. Um, it, it's it's very nice whenever uh, the boxes it, it's it's refreshing to go from the the one to two hundred boxes which are not very uh, they're good but they are very uh, they're very uncreative I guess you could say to uh, things which have a little bit more creativity so anyway uh, here is the model I'm gonna set this down for a second while I do just unbox the aircraft uh, let's see. So you have to take out this strap like right here. And these are actually quite challenging. You really don't want to damage the model. And I apologize, this is probably voila. So here's the model in the stand. Looking like this. There you go, just let it focus for a little bit. It's my bad. So anyway, uh the model's like that. Take the model out. Um and then I'm going to put it on the box quickly, and that's what's going to happen. So anyway, here is the aircraft. Uh, it's a very nice aircraft. It's it's quite nice for me um, getting kind of heavy plane because as I transition from 1 to, four, 1 to 200 to 1 to 400, it's kind of nice to uh, get an idea of the uh, airplanes, like the actual size of the heavy, stuff like that. Uh, doesn't mean I'm stopping 1 to 200, it just means I'm really starting to go uh, very much aggressive at 1 to 400 collecting. Uh, I will have more details in the video later, but uh, for right now that's all I'm going to say. Uh, so anyway, we have the landing gear. The landing gear on this one I really like, and on the 767 molds uh, for Gemini Jets, because it is actually a real wheel. Um, I know for the 75 it's not a, it's not real, but it's kind of annoying on the uh, smaller aircraft whenever it's not a real wheel. I know uh, uh, Phoenix does a very good job with their models and they have uh, rubber wheels. Um, so anyway, then you have the front door, you have Sky Team logo. Not sure if you can see that it is quite blurry, my bad. Um, so you can barely see the Sky Team logo. And then you have the uh, Delta, Delta logo. I really like this livery a lot. Um, like I said, I will have more details on what's happening in my channel in a later video. But for right now, I'm just going to say I really like this livery. Um, then we have the Delta, we have the engines, and then we have the massive, um, winglets, approximately 11 feet tall in the real world, tallest winglets in the world, uh, a really nice, really nice addition, and they've made this look really good, um, so then after that we have, uh, just more, more windows, uh, and then we have the registration, November 1, 9, Delta, November, uh, and then we have the tail, and I think they've done a good job with this tail. Uh, it looks very much like the real Delta tails. And um, a lot of planning has gone into this uh, this move of mine. Uh, well, uh, the tail number, uh, I mean a lot of thinking went into uh, the, this model I guess to buy it. Because I really, I'm thinking like, I just got the uh, Gemini 200. 767-300 and I really like it. Now uh, here's just another view of it. Uh, this is a very nice view. I, I really like this. Uh, like like this. It's a very nice view. The only other, um, I am going to be getting a lot more of these. Probably like three or four more of these. Just because I love the model so much. And um, I, the only other Hawaiian uh, livery I mean, the only other livery for the 767 I would consider buying would be the Hawaiian Airlines one. Uh, I have that for 1 to 200, and I really, I really like that a lot. 
So anyway guys, that's basically it for the model. If you have any questions about the model or anything like that, uh, feel free to leave a comment or send me a private message uh, and I would be happy to respond. So once again guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and uh, if you do, uh, please subscribe because a lot more will be coming in the future. See ya, bye.